My next category of tricky boss is the boss who blows hot and cold. The boss who's really excited by something one week and then they, they're not interested the next, or they change from one flavour of the month to the next, uh, or they really want to help you one month and then the next month they're just not interested. For all sorts of reasons, they may have perfectly good reasons to be like this, but it is quite um, confusing to have a boss like this. So what can we do? And the first thing is to agree your job objectives really clearly with the boss, rather than just doing whatever they want in a particular week or a particular month. Have very clear objectives of what you're trying to achieve, and then you can work on that independently of the boss and their mood and their focus. So agree the job objectives really clearly with them. And that may require a bit of negotiating because you may want to negotiate to have something that you want in your job objectives rather than uh, what's already in there. So that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing is to make everything as measurable as you can. I've talked about this already. Um, but if you've got uh, measurable outputs, measurable outcomes, then whatever the boss's opinion is doesn't matter so much because you can say I've achieved what we've agreed. And my final point with the hot and cold boss is to have better communication with them. You really don't want to have a, a communication disconnect with this type of boss. How do they like to be communicated with? Do they like to meet and chat once a day or do they just want email updates sent or do they want to have a weekly meeting? When is a good time of day to talk to them? You know, is it best to get them when they first arrive, when they're walking around the factory? Can you go with them and chat to them? Or perhaps they don't want to be disturbed for the first hour. They're looking at their email and they're not a morning person anyway. So maybe it's better to sort of bump into them in the afternoon and give them an update of what you're doing and check that they're happy. So find out what their preferred communication style is and, and do whatever works best for them. So clear objectives, measurable and the best communication you can have with them. That's really all you can do with the hot and cold type of boss.